Hey guys, welcome again to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe, share, likes, and watch this video. This will help you a lot in order you to understand everything in math. So as of now, we are already in basic mathematics. So if you want to pass your civil service exam, college entrance test, student achievement test, this will help you a lot in order to you recall everything in math. So I have three content video, which is math problems, usually for the let major, engineering mathematics, and STEM for science, technology, engineering mathematics. So it can be also a part for college entrance tests. And at the same time, I have also a video for the subject, especially in statistics, trigo, analytic geometry, which focuses only problems for the major subjects. Like for example, statistics, it only consists a statistical problem. While the basic mathematics is always consists for the civil service exam, and it consists already a fraction, uh, PEMDAS, uh, business mathematics, as well as the series and at the same time, the map analogy. So I have three content video, and I have also physical science reviewer and biological reviewer. So if you want to become very good in math and science, I have already uploaded video. So please subscribe my channel, Math Academic Knowledge. Thank you. So Bonnie has twice as many cousins as Robert. George has five cousins, which is 11 less than Bonnie has. How many cousins does Robert have? So all you have to do is represent 2x for Bonnie. This is Bonnie yeah, for Bonnie. And then let's have an equation. So George has five cousins. She has a 5 casing. And then, which is 11 less than Bonnie. So, let's have uh, 5 is equals to 2x minus 11. So, how many casing does Robert have? So, 5 minus 11 is equals to 2x. Am I right? So this will become 16 for positive. So this will become positive 11 is equals to 2x and then divided by 2 divided by 2 and then x is equals to 8. So the total number of casing does Robert have will be 8. So, Robert's cousins. So, the best answer is letter D. So, that will be the final answer. Okay, Oscar sold two glasses of milk for every five sodas he sold. If he sold ten glasses of milk, how many sodas did he sell? So what will you do is to have a ratio and proportion. So milk and soda. So milk and at the same time the soda. So take note guys, we have 2 over 5 is equals to 10. Right? So how many sodas? So let's put an x here. So, we need to have a cross multiply. 2x is equal to 50. So, divided by 2, divided by 2, and x will be 25. So, therefore, the total number of so that he sell did he sell. So, the answer is 25. Take note, guys, ah. Huh? The answer for number 2 is 25. So, 2, over, 2 divided by 5, 10 divided by x, so 2x. So, this will become 
The answer is 25. Okay, number three. Justin Earn scores 85, 92, and 95 on his science test. What does he need to earn his next science test to have an average or arithmetic mean of 93%? So what will you do is to add 85 plus 92 plus 95 plus x take note this will be the unknown divided by 4 is equals to 93 percent so x represents as a science test so if we will add 84 85 92 and 95 so 5 plus 2 will be 7 7 plus 5 will become 12, carry 1, so 9 plus 9, this will become 27, right? So, plus x divided by 4 is equals to 93, so this will be our first step. And then, so we need to multiply, cross multiply by 93, so again, 272 plus x so 93 times 4 we have 12 carry 1 36 we have 37 so 272 plus x is equals to and then after that x will be so let's try to have x is equals to 372 minus 272 so the answer is 100 so take note guys so x you will uh, transpose 372 minus 272 and the missing number is 100 so the answer is in the missing number is 100 so let's try to check 85 92 plus 95 plus 100 divided by 4 the answer is 93 percent so that will be the answer brad class collected 320 cans of food they box them in 40 boxes of cans each how many boxes do they need so take note guys so all you have to do is to divide 320 cans of food so in order to find the number of boxes so 320 divided by 40 we have 8 0 8 times 4 is 32 and the answer is 8 boxes needed in order to can a food so that will be answer for number four so the best answer is letter c so joey participated in a dance tone his team started dancing at 10 a.m on friday and stopped 6 p.m on saturday how many hours did joey's team dance so what will you do uh if you will add the total number of hours from friday to friday to saturday that is already one day take note huh? friday to saturday so this is already 24 hours so this will start from the 10 a.m and ends to 10 a.m. in Saturday and then 10 a.m. 10 so 11 12 1 2 3 4 5 6 so we need to are uh, 24 hours 24 hours sorry and add will 8 this is from 11 12 1 2 3 4 5 6 so the answer is 32 so this will be our final answer so the best answer is letter d so that is the answer for number five 
Okay, which expression has an answer of 18? So, don't be confused this one. So, let's try to have letter A. So, 2 times 5 plus 4. So, 2 times 5 is 10 plus 4 is equals to 14. So, this will be not the final answer. So, letter B, we have 2 times 4 plus 5. So, there is a parenthesis. So, 4 plus 5 is 9 times 2. The answer is 18. Take note, guys. Huh? So, the best answer is letter B. Let's try to have letter C. 5 times 2 plus 4. So, this will become... 6 times 5, the answer is 30. That is wrong. That is wrong. And then letter D, so don't be confused. Huh? Plus 5, this will become 8 plus 5 is 13. So, that is also wrong. And the best answer is letter B. Okay, Callie's grandmother pledged point fifty for every mile. Callie walk in her walk a ton. Callie walk nine miles. How much does her grandmother owe? So what will we do is to divide the number of walk of Callie. So the first O we just only multiply. So nine nine miles take me another nine miles. Okay, so every one mile is point fifty dollars. So times point fifty. So again. So this is dollars. Take note, huh? So nine. So point fifty times nine. We have zero. This is 5, 4, and then we have 0, 0 plus 4, we have 0 plus 4, we have 4, right? And then after that, so we have two decimal places, so move two decimal. So the answer is... 4.50 dollars so the answer is letter a so that is the answer for number seven what is the square of 36 guys this is very easy so all you have to do is to have a square root of 36 automatically six because that is already six times six is 36 so the best answer is letter D. Okay, for number 5, Mr. Brown plowed 6 acres in 1 hour. At this rate, how long it will take him to plow 21 acres? This is very easy. So all you have to do, for every 1 hour, 6 acres plowed by Mr. Brown. So, if there are 21 acres, you only divide 21 divided by 6. So, in getting the total number of hours that he plowed. So, 21 divided by 6. So, we have 3. We have 18. So, 21 minus 18, we have right and then point zero point zero so we have five so 30 so the answer is 3.5 bars so the answer for number nine is letter C so that will be the best answer okay what is the prime factorization of 84 when we speak about prime factorization Prime numbers are numbers that multiply by itself. So, again, letter A is not applicable because 42 
is not a prime number. Take note, huh? This is not. So, let's try letter B. 2 times 2 times 4 times 6. Do you think 4 and 6 are prime number? No. This is not a prime number. Why? Because 4 can be also 1 times 4 and then 2 times 2. While 6 also is 2 times 3 and then 1 times 6. So, not letter B. How about 7 and 6? Six? 6 is not also a prime number. While 7 is a prime number and 2. So, let's try letter D. Do you think 2 and 2 and 3 and 7? Let's try to check 2 times 2 times 3 times 7. We have 4 times 3 times 7. We have 12 times 7. So, this will be 2 times 7 is 14. Carry 1. 1 times. Okay. So, the best answer is letter D. Take note, guys. Huh? The best answer for number 10 is letter D.